What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I wanna share a quick tip on how you can control your crowd, runner, and walker systems in the Horde add-on by adjusting the nerves path that your crowd system is following. So here we are inside of Blender and oftentimes when we draw in our crowd system, I'm just going to use our humans swim walker collection here and I'll just draw in a crowd system really quick here. And I've adjusted a few of these settings already to get something that I like. However, you can see that at the end of our crowd system here, the randomization of our character paths is getting a little bit too much. And as you can see here in this specific example of our drawn NURBS path that our characters are basing their paths on we have a total of three separate vertices along this path. Now the easiest way to simplify your crowd setup here is to just delete one of the ends of your NURBS path here. It's not always the case, but I'll show you guys a few examples. I'll just delete this NURBS path at the end. So now we have just two points containing our NURBS path. And now what we can do is we can, you know, stretch these out. And now you can see that our character pathways are much more simplified and easier to understand. So by just deleting one of those points along our NURBS path, we can all of a sudden have a much simpler system that's a little bit more intuitive to control with our basic parameters here. And you can see that we can very easily adjust our pathways and you know curve the paths of our characters in a fairly simple way here and with just these two points you can much easier design your settings to have the look that you want and then if you like your general character pathways here you can perhaps just select one of the endpoints and then extrude it from here creating a longer pathway for your characters but you can see that when we stack our NURBS path points really close to each other so like this we have two different points very close to each other this is when we get some really weird and results that we don't like so we want to try to limit this by creating a little bit of distance between our pathways so now we can still have the randomness in the system that we've set up here depending on the parameters that you choose but we can really have a lot more precise control by extending these out further and we can create a lot more complex character pathways depending on the scene you are trying to populate then of course you can go back to your settings and adjust other parameters as well to get a result that you really like. So anyways guys, just a quick tip for today. That's one of the main things you can do to simplify your crowd systems in order to dial in your settings before you create a more complex pathway. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Leave a comment below on what you'd like to learn next, both with this add-on and from our regular Blender visual effects tutorials. And I'll see you next time.